After a dominant win, Gary Russell Jr. says that team Javante Davis needs to grow a pair of nuts and face him, and he's willing to move up to 135. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We work and sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It definitely helps the channel when you guys do that. You can also get ESPN Plus, Disney Plus, and Hulu for one low rate of $12.99 a month. Get the bundle. Just look for the option. Click on my link. It says bundle. You get all three. I have all three. It's $12.99 a month, and it helps the channel. And shout out to everybody who's used it so far. Listen. Gary Russell, he looked good versus Nyambi Yard, King Tug. It was a Showtime fight, sleeper fight. Some people, you know, may have may have not watched it or knew what to expect because Nyambi Yard was not necessarily a big name. But I told you, for anyone who would listen, I, I kept saying, this is going to be a good fight. It was kind of a fight of halves. Uh, Gary Russell broke out to an impressive lead. Pumping out the jab, doubling, tripling the jab, using the jab in multiple ways, range finder, up jab, and it created a lot of problems for Nyambiar, who couldn't figure it out. And Nyambiar's team was asking for more and more of their fighter. You gotta let, you gotta figure it out. You know, let some punches go, let it rip, because you're not gonna win like this. And then we see Nyambiar answer the call. Gary Russell, from having such a pace and activity, seemed to be a little bit fatiguing in the the later round seven eight his dad even says something his trainer's dad gary senior he says something we don't get tired what you doing and then that kind of woke gary russell's game up but you could tell he was fatiguing fighting the like staving off the the bigger man for so long and having that work rate plus inactivity probably doesn't help like you can be in the gym and stuff but it's different being under the bright lights no headgear and actually fighting you know so i, I want to see a more active Gary Russell. Now, one thing that he said at the post-fight presser with the media was that he wants to avenge the Lomachenko, the loss to him. He said, this ain't about media. It's not about, you know, the networks or anything. I got to do this for me because I can't let that ride. You know, I can't just sit and settle. That's just who I am. And I got to get that off my chest. I got to get some get back. So that's a great fight. I would love to see it. You know, if we watch Lomachenko fight the likes of Miguel Mariaga coming off a loss, moving up in weight. You know, his last fight before the Lomachenko fight was Oscar Valdez, a loss, and he moved up to fight Lomachenko. Why can't we see Gary Russell part two? You know, obviously there's some issue with networks and whatnot, but we'll see, you know, because Wilder fighting Fury, that's what everyone keeps using to make Crawford versus Errol Spence. So why doesn't the same rule apply for Gary Russell? When it comes to fighting Vasil Lomachenko. Now, Gary Russell, he says, he was asked, I believe Blue asked it. He was asked, what is it going to take to get you in the ring with um, Tank, Javante Davis? You guys are both from the DMV area, Baltimore, DMV, etc. And his team said that you don't sell, you, you know, you're not putting asses in the seats. Gary Russell responded, I quote, It'll take for Tank to grow some nuts, for him and his team to grow some cojones and stop acting like a sucker. The sport of boxing is getting real weak. A lot of fighters are getting weak. Like I said, I'll answer the call to anybody. If anybody says they want to fight me, I'm a man, and at the end of the day, we're going to fight. I don't even care if you 200 pounds. If you say you want to fight me, you better put your hands up. we going to rumble. That's just the type of individual that I am. That's the type of attitude and mindset you're supposed to have as a fighter, right? He said, what type of stuff is that to say? Well, I don't want to fight him because it don't sell. You sound like a sucker. You sound like a sucker. You mean to tell me because I'm telling you I want to fight you, you picking up, you picking and choosing who you want to fight? Come on, man. I ain't trying to hear none of that. That's really what's going on. Wow. 
He says that, hell yeah, it'll sell. We don't even have to put no titles on the line. We could do a charity event and everybody would come to that fight. So what is what is he talking about? Saying it don't make sense. You know the fight will sell. We could fight in D.C. Everybody and their mama and their grandmother will come to that fight. So let's make it happen. I'm not going to say he's, he's a great fighter. I do take my hats off because I watched him come up in the amateurs talking about Tank. I'm glad he had the opportunity to provide a financial stability for his family and friends, but he definitely don't have the skills to that it takes to mess with me. That's the reason why he's choosing, why his team and Floyd Mayweather and everybody else is choosing to keep him away from me. They handpick who they want to fight. I don't handpick who I fight. I fight whoever says they want to fight me. Let's make that fight happen. So, yeah, he, he's been adamant about wanting to fight Tank. Listen, I love it. I want to see it. It's a good fight. Um, he said he's not staying at 126 if he can't get a big name. Leo Santa Cruz moved up to 30, may move up to 135 to pursue Gervonta Tank Davis on pay-per-view. Um, that's a good fight. Um, Leo didn't really look great to me in his last fight. I was there. I covered it. He said he was sick or he was just feeling off or something. Or he was sick right before in training camp, he said. But he don't want to make a bunch of excuses. You know, he got the victory, so he, he just moves on from that. It was on the Wilder Ortiz 2 card. Listen, any Gary Russell has proven excellence, black excellence. He shows a crazy ring generalship. Hand speed is insane, crazy hand speed. You know, he shows durability. I don't remember him getting knocked down. In fact, he actually knocked down Lomachenko, and they didn't count it. Um, so he has the hand speed. He People forget about that in the Lomachenko fight. They always talk about how Lomachenko beat him, but they don't talk about that knockdown. Anywho, Gary Russell's an incredible fighter. The, my only complaint is I want to see him continue to fight the Jojo Diaz, the Nyambiars, you know, Olympians like that, or better. Because when he fought, um, I forgot the name, Patrick something, this Irish kid, you know, we knew it was going to happen. Eskandone was... You know, he was game, but he got messed up in that fight. So Gary Russell's he's elite. He's been a long stand him and Wilder are probably the longest standing champions without fail for the last five, six years or whatever it's been. You know, we're in a new decade now. Um, I believe Al Heyman's still his advisor. I don't know what their relationship is and whatnot, but he needs a big fight. Nayambayar, I'm definitely going to watch the rest of, you know, watch his development and his career, see how he bounces back. I think this would be a good testament if Nayambayar does do something, like if Gary Russell moves up and Nayambayar becomes a champion and fights for maybe the vacant WBC belt, that'll be a testament to Gary Russell's skill set because just like Lomachenko beating Gary Russell, that's a good name now on his resume. You could say that for Joseph Jojo Diaz, who's now a champion after beating Tevin Farmer, for Russell to have that on his resume and if Nayambiar goes on to do something. Plus, I like Nayambiar. He never gave up. He was never discouraged. He's an Olympian. Um, guys are going to have problems with him if he brings that type of intensity, that type of pressure with that durability. Very subtle thing that I like from Nayambiar, and I talked about this in my post-fight, was Nayambiar's body work. That body work was awesome, and it was subtle, but he did it more in the second half. Gary Russell, it was a dominant win, and he, he broke out to a, a, a clean, clear lead. So I thought it was a decisive victory. Showtime commentators, they missed me with a lot of the commentary of Gary Russell's fight. They were making it sound like the fight was hard to judge or we didn't know who was going to be the winner. In fact, Pauli Malinaji, after the 12 rounds, the final bell sounded for the fight and it went the distance. He said Gary Russell should win. And I'm like, I don't understand why commentators speak so um, like they're on the fence when it was clear cut that Gary Russell won. Nambiar needed a knockout to win. He was he 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 held his own and he made it competitive and he you know he didn't bend or fold, but he was clearly losing. He was getting beat up and he couldn't penetrate that force field of a jab that Gary Russell had. So it wasn't even a close fight like that. The only thing is, you know, there were some moments where he started to apply pressure late in the fight and win some rounds. That's it. But in a twelve round fight that's why you have 12 rounds. You got 12 rounds to figure it out. 12 rounds to get it done. And he just didn't do it. But I, I, I appreciate the effort and the competitive spirit. Nambiar was, you know, he was during his loss post-fight interview. 
he seemed like he acknowledged the loss. He, he, he was accepting of it. He knows he lost that fight. So anyway, I don't understand why the commentary makes it sound uh, a type of way. Listen, I, I want to see Gary Russell versus Tank. Like, these guys got to all fight. Tank, Lomachenko, Gary Russell, Lomachenko 2, uh, Leo Santa Cruz versus Gary or or Tank. You know, I don't know how they're going to play it, but th these little, like, from 126 to 135, these weight classes got some work. You know, I would, I don't know how, I don't think this is likely, but Gary Russell versus Shakur Stevenson, that would be crazy too at 126. Shakur is a champion, Gary Russell is a champion, but again, herein lies the problem with the different networks and, you know, Shakur is young in his career, Gary Russell's more of a, I, I, he's probably a 30, 31-ish, so I don't, I don't know that Aram, I, this, uh, this is not a knock on Shakur Stevenson, but you got to understand promoters and teams have a lot to do with these fights not happening too, because if this is not their directive and they want to take you in a different direction, then unless you Floyd Mayweather where you just dictate kind of what happens with your career and you're at that space of your career then the fight's not going to happen so i don't doubt shakur stevenson would um fight gary russell but i don't know that his promotional team would be you know starving to make that fight anytime soon so gary russell might end up moving to 35 he said he don't really have nothing interesting uh at 130 um stylistically i would like miguel berchelt versus versus Gary Russell or if Berchelt fights Valdez the winner of that but again you you deal with the top rank versus Heyman fighter scenario and I don't think those are quite big fights I think Lomachenko 2 Tank Leo Santa Cruz but stylistically I think Gary Russell and Berchelt Oscar Valdez winner would be fun fights stylistically cool fights to watch but I, I don't think it's going to be like a blockbuster I don't think those guys have been branded to the point where it would be as big as Gary Russell Tank or Leo Santa Cruz and Gary, stuff like that. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. If you love what I'm doing here on the channel, hit the subscribe button. I hit hit y'all up with the latest and greatest, some thoughts, commentary, live streams, daily content. Holla at the boy. We working. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.